What's up, gamers? <laughs> Welcome back to another bullshit vlog of ex of X D G, the gamer himself. All right, so ugh, I'll probably do another video about this later today, and uh, so. 2020 is coming close and we are now in the first week of December now so I um just want to go ahead and first of all appreciate everyone for the respect and the views you know what I'm saying and about the that uh, about the video that I posted a while back about you know, potential name change and all that shit. Um, real shit. Um, it's really not much else I can say. Like, I think 2020 is gonna be, like I said in my recent tw in a, a Twitter post I I put up yeah I put up a few a few days a few weeks ago. Um, that 20 well a few days ago not a few weeks ago. Um. 2020 will be where I take gaming a lot more seriously like I'm going to diverge my time in between work and you know like I said there's a lot of stuff in my personal life that I'm fully like aware of it takes up a quarter more than a quarter like 50% of my time you know what I'm saying and at most recently it's been a little more of a dis I won't say it's been a distraction because like I said personal business is personal business like you got to take time for yourself to do shit like that but um so first of all tonight my first Q&A will be uploaded I'm editing the video as we speak currently and as well as I'm working on a certain business venture, a few business ventures actually. And I'm also seeking collaborators who would like to be a part of a gaming collective that I will also be starting in 2020. Uh, I want to first acknowledge a few things. I wanna put, put this out there that, um, and first of all, jumping on the fact that, you know, YouTube has been very, very verbal about their content, about the content on, hold on a second, my shit itching like fuck. Oh, there it go. Okay. So, YouTube has been very, I won't say aggressive, but they're being very, 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 it's, they're being very serious about the whole, you know, deeming your channel necessary if it's appropriate for children, this, that, and the third. I cannot really, I don't understand personally the reason why, I'm going to do some digging into why they're doing this, but, you know, as some of you know, a few months ago, I uploaded a video of a racist rant that a, that I had over, for, I had via Fortnite with a child, and I guess the individual knew of my YouTube channel and had reported it you know for racial comments even though i sent the youtube create the youtube content creators which is you know basically where you feel like something's wrong and you feel like you were you were deemed it was untreated unfairly whatever have you um so i sent them that video i got that strike around i want to say june and then i sent the video to them around like i got it around like around june 30th and I sent them a video around like June, July, like I think it was like the 1st or 2nd of July and they got back to me around, I want to say like the end of August. So the end of August, they verified that, you know, that you were in fact, I was treated unfairly, this, that, and the third. And so they took the strike off, but they also had warned me, they advised me basically it was more of a like I felt it was a threat really and I'm sure a lot of youtubers have had the same issue you know like obviously they don't want you to they don't want youtubers to express like political views well they don't mind political views but I guess in terms of racism 
you know, and anything sex of sexual nature, they don't want to be explicitly spoke about or whatever have you, because I, I guess they're trying to make YouTube more child friendly. So I'm guessing that's where this whole making your channel age appropriate came about. So other than that, um, yeah, they they definitely told me to try and keep my channel as clean as possible, even though, like, you guys have seen many, much of my content, like, obviously, I'm not, a, I'm not the most, you know, accurate, I'm not the most popular, clearly, but at the same given token, I take pride in my content, you know what I'm saying, that's, like, my content is heavily thought about like it's not like I just put some bullshit out there or whatever have you and then I expect it to be a hit I'm not saying that I'm not putting it out there for that reason I'm putting it out there because it's my content I want my content out there plain and simple you know what I'm saying that's why I have the social media accounts that's why I have like a platform I'm creating the platform as we speak you know what I'm saying so regularly on something like this I wouldn't really speak about but I felt like in general there was this conversation needed to be had so minus that I recently got both strikes off my YouTube channel as of September and I was gonna make a video about this but I kind of just like felt like it was like fuck it you know what I'm saying like it's not necessary but I feel like mentioning this to youtubers of their of any t at any point like youtubers that are coming up you know what I'm saying youtubers that are just getting started like it doesn't even matter if you have the same amount of followers I do or you have three or four times as many followers as I do like it, in general be mindful like YouTube is definitely you know making themselves more known you know what I'm saying and the idea like literally it got to the point for me like I was contemplating on either deleting my YouTube channel or at least switching platforms because I felt like there's no such there was no reason for them to threaten to take my channel down because that one person triggered my channel to get not one but two strikes on it both of which took about a month to get taken down and even though I had repeatedly emailed YouTube and told them like such and such this such and such that you know I've sent them the video like I think I emailed YouTube about maybe six times within the month of July like I was not playing like I wanted that off my channel like that shit was really withholding my inf withholding from me like okay I get it I'm not at the level where I can sit there and say I'm getting money from YouTube yet but at the same given token I'm at that point where my content is being paid attention to like people are paying attention to my content I have my PlayStation my PlayStation friends that join me on my YouTube account you know stuff like that so for me it, it bothers me yes does it really affect me in my personal life not even close so like I said I have many more cons I have I've done I've already recorded pre-recorded videos for for several questions that I've gotten asked by my fans and I've decided to put some of them in a Q&A that I'm also uploading tonight like I said so it is really like at that point I'm I'm changing you know what I'm saying like my channel is changing and I'm going to grow with my channel and as far as I'm seeing it there's not going to be really much of a really extension of that you know what I mean so like I said again thank you everyone for supporting me thank you for you know your undying love for just my overall bullshit really you know like shit fuck it you know what I mean I'm not the best youtuber out here I'm not the most popular but what fuck it you know what I mean fuck it it's not about being popular it's about fucking entertainment you know what I'm saying I do this shit because YouTube like what y'all see in my YouTube channel is what y'all see is what I am like on a regular basis like you know what I'm saying like I'm not doing this shit for people to I'm okay yeah I am doing this shit for people to like me on YouTube stuff like that but that's for like that's not I'm but but the way I act on YouTube is not anything different than how I act on a regular basis you get what I'm saying it's how I act on YouTube is how I act personally you know that's how I am around my kid that's how I am around my associates that's how I am around my family in general so like you guys see me talking shit this that and the third I don't know like even some for some odd reason one of my one of my um uh, place PSN friends had mentioned this to me because he was like 
every time I play Fortnite with you and you get shot down, you be like, my legs, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, so I, you're trying to say I got a catch raise or some shit like that? So other than that, like I said, it's, it, we ha- I have what I want from YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not letting anyone, I'm not letting anything or anyone take that from me. And I'm letting you guys know that. So like I said, be, be prepared. I got videos for the rest of, I got literally, I think I got like 12 or 13 videos I'm going to be uploading like literally every day. And I've already set premiere times for them. So it's going to be like a set time limit, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, I want you guys to understand I love you, I fuck with you, and remember, with Xavier the Gamer, gamers don't die, we just respond, you know what I'm saying? And it's XDG for life, you know what I mean? You either game hard or you go, or you die, you die tired, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it is. Make sure y'all know that, you know? Make sure y'all subscribe, check all my playlists, all that shit, make sure you check out my rap channel, that shit's popping. Just like my current channel, just like this channel right here, my YouTube, my music channel's popping. Make sure you check the BOC, the Born Out of Control record labels channel. Make sure you check them shits out. And make sure you follow my artists as well, as well you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Silence, you know, that's one of my, that's my man's, R.I.P. that nigga. So, like I said, it is what it is. Ain't nobody gonna stop what I'm doing. Fuck you niggas that's hating on me like that. Straight up.